Great stadium, lovely evening, great to have you with us, welcome. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. And our action today comes from the Championship in England. Nottingham Forest against Hull City. Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. And this is the way Nottingham Forest are going to go into this match. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. Well, the goalkeeper now at least can uh, relax a little bit. Uh, he was certainly tested to the... He's got it in behind the defenders for the attacker to chase. No, it's offside. And it looks as though they might be in to score. And they've spread it out wide here, taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. A great chance to go in front. Very good stop here. In goes the corner. Very good positioning by the defender. How has it been for Hull City? Well, I can tell you it's been very poor defensively. We'll be hoping, they'll be hoping too, that they can tighten it up today. Well, they've got to start well, but if they don't, you could see three or four goals at least going in. Oh, great chance! And the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. Decided to go short. He's won it back easily. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him. I think the referee's showing how he's going to officiate this match. It's going to be a free kick. He's not going to stand any nonsense. There's some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. I'd be hoping not to be disappointed. Costly loss of possession maybe here. Keeper called into action and ready for it. It'll be a corner. Corner's taken. Corner far too near the goalkeeper. He's at his best in those circumstances. He might have put his teammate in here. That's safely away. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. is a family friendly environment and only soft drinks can be taken down to your seats thank you for your cooperation i've got his angles wrong with the pass read the intentions Throw in to come. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Let's join Alan McAnally now. News of a goal, I believe, in the Derby County match. Over to you, Alan. It's a goal for Derby County. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. A reminder for you that on EA Sports we're covering the EFL Championship fixture, Nottingham Forest, and they'll be hosting Reading. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. 
Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking that they need to get their noses in front. Saw that coming and intercepted. Goalkeeper read the play very well and clears it away without too much danger. Treads it through. Should be. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Seems as if neither side really wants to commit here. The longer it goes on, though, you'd expect that to change. He has cleared it well. It's fine play from Nottingham Forest, getting really onto the front foot now. He's won it back, easily. Some goal news for you. Trying to steer it through. Excellent interception. Goes for goal! I think that hit the post, Alan. I think it did, just clipped it. So unlucky. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Alan said that the visitors have scored, and they now lead by that goal, 1-0. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. A couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref. He reached for his pocket straight away. No uh, hesitation from him. Just got a feeling this could be a key moment in the match, a great chance to take. Got in well for the chance and couldn't quite supply the finish. Yeah, nothing wrong with that effort. The keeper was a touch worried there for a second. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. We'll go back to the goalkeeper here, can't blame him for that. Surely he must score! He didn't really work the keeper, did he? Promising build-up. And there is the half-time whistle, nil-nil at the break. It's been a very dogged display by the visitors, particularly given their defensive problems in recent games. Half-time and their level. Yeah, not many chances really to look back on in that first half. Just wonder if the second will be the same. And it is the kickoff here for the second half. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Here's Alan McAnally now to tell us about a goal in the Bristol City game. Alan. It's a goal for Bristol City. 46 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers, Alan. They've got the ball back by that interception. What about Hull City's next game? They're playing Derby County in their next match in the Championship. And I think it could go either way. He's got out there quickly and stopped the ball coming in. 
slipped through. Can he finish it now? It's well read by the goalkeeper, but he still had no margin for error as he dived on the ball. Well, you've got to be a good keeper sweeper these days, haven't you? And he certainly showed that here. Opening them up with a through pass. And here's the shot. That's an easy save for the keeper. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but I don't think the manager will be happy down there watching this performance. He would have been expecting more. The fans would, and I was. You have to feel that they will step it up sooner or later. He's going to make a change now. Gets in the way of it, the defender. Into the attacking third. It's an easy cutout for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Striding forward, purposefully. That whipped him ball at the near post. Didn't want to take the extra touch, just volleyed it. Yeah, 10 out of 10. for courage there substitution time <laughs> saw the ball went for it now there is some space in the wide area He's looking for the cross. Lovely, incisive pass. It was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. Very good positioning by the defender. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Now the possibility for a cross. And shoots! Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. And it's gone out for a throw. It is going to be a change here, and it looks like a strategic one. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. He's going to try it! Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought, but they're safe again. Today, Alan McAnally is at Huddersfield Town. Alan, really in the clear now. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. He's put in the corner. Oh, he could have made more of that, but it's only a goal kick. Well, it's fast and furious, we had to cut across Alan McAnally there. Apologies to Alan for that. Confirmation that it was Middlesbrough who got the goal in that game. And the score, it... just the keeper to beat. Oh, that's great, and the wait is over. It's a fine goal. They've worked away at the opposition, and now they've got their reward. Nicely taken, and patience has paid off finally. Well, he's shown plenty of pace composure in the finishing to fight
an individual goal. Well, this is where managers really earn their money in a losing situation. They've got to make a substitution. Got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Burke. It's about finding the right pass now. Neatly intercepted. Well, this is fascinating. And the crowd are loving the, the drama that we're watching here. Just a one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. Intercepted here. It's 82 minutes played now. The pass threaded through. In with a chance. Can't hang onto it, the keeper. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Well, the keeper, with that save, he's kept his team in it, but they've just got to try and get the ball up the other end if they're going to find an equaliser. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Please get around the doors for today. Well, maybe the counter attack is on here. Number 23, Joe Lonnie. Keeper's ball. What's the keeper doing here? And he's done it! It's a terrific goal at a terrific time, and it should seal the win. Restarting at 2-0. Number 23, Joe Two more minutes to be played then, added time. They've got the ball back by that interception. It's come to an end now as the referee blows the whistle. Just a moment of your time. Thank you, that's all the questions we have for you.